Dear ladies and gentlemen, we have gathered this evening to celebrate not just a birthday but also to honor and respect the phenomenal achievements of Mr. Sharad Kulkarni. He is a story that is truly inspirational and an example of how life should be lived joyously and magnificently. A person who is multi-talented, virtuous, his qualities start reflecting in him from the very beginning. We are all born with talents, but very few of us own and hone them to perfection. 9th December 1939 Sharad was born in Tanzania in a lush green forest nestled between Serengeti National Park and Lake Victoria. He had an exceptional childhood and was an ardent explorer. His love of nature and inquisitiveness led him to find the key to a balanced lifestyle. He studied in Pune at New English School, Ramanbag, and at Ferguson College. He graduated in Civil Engineering from College of Engineering, Pune, which is amongst the top engineering universities of India. He was as passionate about extracurricular activities and sports as he was for academics and wanted to develop a wholesome personality, a perfect balance of body, mind, spirit. And though he completed his academic degree in 1964, his passion to learn and explore never ended. It's no surprise his eyes are full of wonder, exploring this magic called life. He was married in 1965 to Vibhavari, daughter of lawyer D.S. Karandika of Baramati, and who was closely associated with Y.B. Chavan in the freedom movement. She graduated with honors from Ferguson College in 1963. His career jump-started when he started working for l and and Skanska, joint venture on a major hydel project in the Chambal Valley in Rajasthan. He soon became a part of Skanska's global operations, handling varied international projects. He quickly rose from the role of project engineer to project manager and then country manager by the age of 35. His international experience took him to most countries of the Far East and Southeast Asia, North Africa, Scandinavia and Middle East. After almost 22 years of international experience, he returned to India in 1984 and became a part of RPG Enterprises and was instrumental in its incredible growth story inspired by Ram Prasad Goenkaji, India's visionary industrialist and businessman. Sharad retired in 2002. After being with RPG Enterprise for 18 years, his new inning started as an advisor and business consultant, a role in which he continues to date. In his 55 years career, he held positions of CEO and president of major international companies and served on the boards of several Indian multinational companies operating in India and also as a member of the Asia-Pacific Advisory Boards of a few US companies. Needless to say, and you may have guessed it right too, he traveled the world extensively imbibing the insights of many cultures and exploring nature in depth. Voyages from Arctic to Antarctic, there is hardly any place where he has not been, a passion that continues to date. Today, his smile says it all. A proud family man, his sons Anand and Vikram live in the US and all of them are here today to celebrate Sharad's 80th birthday. Anand and Kanchan with the boys Shonak and Ruthvik, Vikram and Sonal with their boys Rishabh and Ridan. Sharad's never-ending bliss is fueled by time spent with his family and his wide circle of friends. Retirement? No, we do not think the word exists for him as he continues his advisory work. Passion for travel and associations with social organizations, NGOs and education trusts and institutions. 
So, to sum up, a hugely successful and rewarding career, a wonderful family life and an inspiring example of serving to society. Can there be a finer example of life well lived? A true karmyogi in every sense of the term. Sir, you inspire us to go beyond limits and we can never have enough of the guidance, wisdom and compassion that you generously shower on us. Thank you all for your presence and good wishes to celebrate Sharad's 80th birthday today.